glasses contact lenses are something that so many of us keep on using day after day despite our busy schedules is there a possibility to get rid of glasses to get rid of contact lenses yes there is and that is lasik the world knows it and for so many years it has been proved that lasik can permanently get rid of glasses or contact lenses lasik is called laser in situ keratomedusis and which means that a laser ray can get rid of the power the minus power for the distance or the plus power for the distance or the astigmatism or the cylinder power for the distance as well so for minus power from up to nearly 10 adapters of minus power can be taken off for the plus power for the distance nearly up to 6 adapters of the plus power for the distance can be taken off and similarly with the advanced technology even a 6 adapters of cylinder power can be taken off by lasik so is it possible that everybody can get LASIK done, whoever wears glasses or contact lenses? Well, not really. So there are protocols and very tight and stringent protocols to get LASIK done. So first and foremost, there should be a stability of the power or the refractive error for any patient to get LASIK done. That is six months, the patient's power should not have increased or should not have varied from what it was. Then, if there is a systemic illness or medicines that the patient is taking, it's important that you tell your doctor that these are the medicines that are being taken. If a lady is either pregnant or lactating, LASIK best be avoided till the due pregnancy is over over three months and even the lactation and over three months after that. These are certain important issues and your eye doctor would be the best person to tell you if LASIK is possible for your eyes. But to make it possible, the eye doctor has to do an eye examination and that examination is very, very important. The examination starts off with an examination of the front of the eye, which is called the anterior segment, the posterior side of the eye, which is called the posterior segment, which means that the retina is also examined, the pressure of the eye is examined, the corneal topography, which is a very important examination, which details the contour map of the front portion of the eye, that's the cornea, that is taken into account, and that is one of the most important tests before LASIK is done. So once all the parameters are fulfilled and the age is the proper age, then LASIK is advised. There are so many ways of doing the LASIK treatment and the first way in which LASIK is done or laser treatment is done is called PRK or photorefractive keratectomy. There is the laser in situ keratomidosis or the LASIK itself and the advanced protocol which is called the SMILE treatment. So all these three treatments are available but they have to suit the dioptric error of the person and the requirements of the person. So it's not that everybody can get the most advanced treatment that's a SMILE it's not also possible that everyone can get a microtertum LASIK or a LASIK. So each person's eye is assessed to tell what treatment would be best done and that your eye doctor would be able to say. Thank you.